All right, in this video, we're going over the De Bello Gallico, book four, while they are in Britain, and chapter 32, and most likely 33. So, starting off, Duma and Geruntor, while these things are being done, are being waged from Gero, Gerre. This is the nominative plural neuter from Isaia Id. If we were to go directly to the plural of that chart, a e a i a a. With, so it's an of absolute, legione is modified by the word una, and misa is our perfect passive participle from mino, minere, misi, misus. And so therefore, with one legion having been sent out of custom, consuetudo, consuetudinus, is related, and here you can see the nominative, the genitive of which would be consuetu, uh oh, that's a T, tudinus. That is, of course, related to our verb that means to be a custom, consuesco consuescere. So, from their custom, with one legion having been sent out, and this is the supine that ends with um. Supines can either end with a u, in which they are an ablative of specification, and telling you in what specific way an adjective is applicable. Take, for example, we've seen before, mirabile. And that mirabile means a miraculous thing, or miraculous, or in what way? Well, miraculous to see, we sue, or miraculous dictu, to say, as in I can't even believe I'm saying it. Here, when it ends with um, it is going to be with some sort of implied motion, and it will be showing purpose. This is from the verb fermento fermentare, meaning to gather grain or harvest, and so therefore, with one legion having been sent to harvest, for the purpose of harvesting. Nevertheless, the one who, we're talking about the legion, legio legionis is feminine, was called the seventh, Septima, the seventh legion, and another out of absolute, neque ulo suspicione, with not any suspicion of war interposita, from pono ponore posui positis, meaning to interpose or to bring up or even to be thought about. So with not any suspicion of war, having been suspected, having been brought out, having been interposed at this time, remember with is a it modifies something, it's going to turn to the equivalency of ikaiko or lealalud, when part of the men, and here we know that it is when, because one, we have a subjunctive imperfect with a present infinitive plus an ending, and then secondly, it does not have, with that subjunctive, a tom in, so we know to eliminate the meaning although. And so we have to go with since or when, when is better. When part of the humans, of the men, were remaining in the fields, their job is to do the harvesting, also a part was coming to and fro. Now I say to and fro because this is an example of a frequentative verb. It implies action that is going to be repeated over and over and over again. And the way that you find these frequentatives is that you take the principal part, the fourth one, of the original verb and turn it into a verb in and of itself. Like for examples, I give the example, spicio, spicere, spicy, or spexy, spectus, chop off the us a um, and just merely make it into a verb itself. And so whereas spicio means I spot, specto means I spot over and over and over again, it is essentially I watch, and so therefore that's what we have here, into the camps, in plus the accusative into. So what we're saying is the part of the men, their job is obviously to do the harvesting, the other part is to actually bring the grain from the fields into the camp. They, meaning a e a i a a, again from isa, is the nominative plural masculine, they who, were in the guard station, so those guys, and here I'm underlining the relative subordinate clause, who were in the guard station in front of the gates of the camps, they, nuntia verunt, announced, did announce, perfect tense obviously, to Caesar, that. Here we're going to have an accusative subject, and your verb is going to be the infinitive videri, which remember, is the present passive. Long ERE -E, to see turns into the present passive to be seen, but here not translated as an infinitive because it has a subject in the indirect statement. So a dust cloud, but it is a particular one. Bigger, larger than, remember that whenever qualm is hanging around a comparative, it's often going to be than, larger than custom would bring. So in other words, you usually see dust clouds, but this is a bigger one than normal. That that dust cloud was seen. Nuntia verunt, we are starting off in the past, and so a present infinitive has to occur at the same time, was seen in that part, again, you say it modifying something, hikaiko, or lelalud, 
quam in partam, into which part the legion had made a pluperfect subjunctive, the perfect infinitive, fe kisse, plus the ending t, its journey. So where they had gone, obviously, it is at that spot that they see this dust cloud. So Caesar, he, having suspected a deponent verb, suspicor, suspicari, and it's a perfect passive looking, not having been verbed, but having verb. Having suspected it, which it was, meaning that he figured out that obviously they have probably been ambushed out there. And what is this it? Then we have merely an appositive. Something of a new plan having been begun by the barbarians. So he thought that they're up to something, obviously. So he, having suspected that, and what is it? That which it was, something of a new plan having been begun by the barbarians, he used it, 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 it. Caesar ordered the cohorts, the ones which, and then again, there it is, a relative, a subordinate clause, which were in the guard station. He ordered those cohorts, profekiski, profekiskor, profekiski, profectusum, another deponent verb, looks passive, translates actively. You can see that short ERE -E had turned into an I third conjugation to set out, and it's an inceptive action that you can see by that SC, to set out, not to be, because it's deponent, to set out with him into, in plus accusative, that part, and continues, he ordered two cohorts to replace, to succeed, like you have a succession, one replacing another, to take the place into the guard station, he ordered the reliquias, the remaining ones, to be armed, a non-deponent verb, and a deponent verb to follow. So do you see to be verbed, armed? And here, the deponent, it looks passive as an infinitive, but to follow him immediately. So, why does he get those goats that were in the guard station? Well, they're already armed and ready. Then why does he then double those that are going to be then taking their place? Because he doesn't know if they're going to be under attack. And then he gets everybody else, get ready, and let's go. But the guys who are already armed and ready to go, those are the ones, of course, that he is going to get to help first. So, Coom, again, we've got to look, see what kind of verb we have. And there it is. Pro Kesisset, from Cato, Catere, Kesi, Kesus, the word that means to go, and then pro cato, proceed. It is a pluperfect subjunctive, the perfect infinitive plus an ending. So, cum is either going to be when, since, or although. I don't see a tom in, so it's not going to be although. So when or since, probably when. So when he had proceeded from the camps more longly, a comparative adverb, by a little bit. So in other words, he had gone not very far, but obviously far enough. He, I mean, not worth it. He notices or he noticed. I like the fact that it's probably going to be noticed. He did notice, because here we have a pluperfect subjunctive in the subordinate clause. It makes better sense. It would be the exact same form in the present and in the perfect, but we're going to go with the perfect. So he noticed that his own guys, primi. Now, of course, this is the deponent, or not deponent, non-deponent from the verb Premare, which means to press, and so to be pressed. He noticed that his own guys, and it's the verb of an indirect statement, so not to be pressed, but rather were pressed, happening at the same time as the Adam and in the past by the enemies, and that his own guys sustained at the same time it weakly. So I gre is from I gare, I gra, I grew, meaning weak or sick, and thus it's the adverb, and with the legion having been packed together conferta, he noticed that weapons, a tele, which is from telum tele, a weapon, he noticed that weapons were thrown, yaki yakare, yeki yaktis, that shorty re turns into an eye, just like that shorty re turned into an eye, were thrown from all parts. They are surrounded. He notices that that obviously is coming in from every direction. For because, and another ablative absolute, he really does love them, only frumento de meso, from the verb that means, of course, to harvest, metho, methere, and then with a day on the front of it, you see the same exact verb, different form, right there, as a gerund. But nevertheless, so, because with all the grain, having been harvest, perfect passive participle, from the remaining parts, 
one pars, one part was remaining. So, essentially think of it as a grid or a chessboard. And every single square on it is a particular field that the Romans are getting grain from. And so with every single chessboard square already harvested, as we see here, one part remains, the enemies are going to know that's where the Romans will show up in the next day. Because if you're hitting every square randomly, they won't be able to anticipate. But this one they did. And so it says that one part was remaining. And the enemies, having suspected, again, suspicor, suspicari, a deponent looks passive, perfect passive participle, but passive looking only, translates actively. Having suspected that, accusative subject, our guys would come, because here, suspicati, we are starting off in the past. The present, or I should say the future infinitive, merely indicates that the action has to happen after. And so the after could be here in the past. Oh, there it is. Could be there in the present, could be there in the future. So would, would come to this place. So having suspected that the, our guys would come to this place at night in the forest, they had hidden. And really, they had hidden themselves. Then, having attacked. Adorti is another perfect passive looking participle from orior, oriri, or to sum, that means to rise. You put odd on the front of it, it means to rise up against or attack. So, having attacked the scattered ones, perfect passive participle, the scattered ones having been occupied in the act itself, gerund harvesting with their arms having been put down, obviously, to do this harvesting business. They put down their shields and swords and things of that nature. And having attacked, suddenly the scattered ones having been occupied or busy in the harvesting with their weapons having been down with a few paukis having been killed, interficio, interficere, interfecti, interfectus. They had disturbed the remaining guys right there with their disorganized, with their uncertain ranks or their formations. And at the same time, simul, they had come round them with the cavalry and with the chariots. And so there, what we're going to learn about in the very next chapter are the ways that they fight with these chariots. And it's a wild time. The Esidarii is what they are known, just like a rider is a carriage, a Raidarius is the person who drives it, and so the plural Raidarii, so an Esidarius is a charioteer. So it says, this is the type of fight or of fighting from chariots. First, they pair equitant, it's like they ride horse, through all parts, so they ride through all parts, this is talking about the chariots, charioteers, and they throw their weapons, and they generally disturb the ranks, the formations, the ordinates, the formations of Roman soldiers, by, by with because of from it the terror itself of the horses and the noise of the wheels. It's just disconcerting in this fog of battle. And when, and here this is the specific temporal when, and I know so because I see a non-subjunctive verb. It's a perfect indicative. So when, at a specific time, they have interwoven, insinuo, remember when you insinuate something, you interweave it, themselves between the squadrons of cavalry, the equites, remember the cavalrymen, they decilient, salio salire, to jump. So decilient, they jump down, ex ascendis, out of these chariots, and they proliantor, a deponent verb that means to battle. They battle on feet. So essentially the chariots are merely a kind of confusing tactic. They actually fight as an infantryman. Meanwhile, the charioteers, the people who are driving these things, little by little, paulum means little, paulatum means little by little. It's a temporal sense. They go out, they ex it again this verb, Cato catering, not to be confused with Cato, the fall, Cato to go, C-E-D. They go out ex polio from the battle and they locate, they park their chariots, their kurus, in such a way, and that e to that degree words like tote, so many, tantus, so much, audio, so, tom, so, all of those words can help to figure out that we are dealing with an ut result clause. 
in such a way that as a result, if they should, and when you have present subjunctives, you translate it as should, and you can see the other, other here, a subjunctive, e a we fear, fear, a giant line, because this is a third conjugation verb, primo primere. They locate in such a way that if they should be pressed by a multitude, and if those guys, i.e. the charioteers, by a multitude of enemies, they would have an unimpeded and expedited escape, reception to their own guys. And so, essentially, they park their chariots by backing it into the parking spot. A student of mine one time had his father who was in the military, he calls it combat parking. And you can see it's literally that that way there. And so finishing up, this is the end. In such a way, they, meaning the charioteers, provide. Price not literally to stand before, but in this sense it's going to be like provide. So they provide a mobility of the cavalry, so they allow, with what they are doing in their tactics, that the cavalry have more free movement. They provide a stability of the foot soldiers. This would, of course, be the infantry. And so essentially, they are providing to them support in proileis, in battles. Remember, the proileis comes from proileum, proilei, and they make it. Remember, this is nothing more than facio, 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 with an ex on the front. They effect it. If you effect a change, that means you bring it about. And so they bring it about so much from, by with because of from in on at, their daily use and their daily exercise. So in other words, from their training, they bring it about so much that as a result, they, and then here with this ut clause, it is an ut result clause. And your verb is this perfect subjunctive consuerit. They have been accustomed. Remember, consuesco, consuescere. So they bring it about so much that as a result, on an incline and in a precipitous location, meaning a rather steep drop off, a drop off location, they have been accustomed, and they have been accustomed, sustenere to do this, moderare to do this. Flectere to do this, percurre to do this, insistere to do this, and then finally, recipere. What have they been accustomed to do in an incline and a steep place? They have been accustomed to sustain, control the horses having been riled up so at a full gallop they're able to control them, but they are able to do so driving these chariots because of how often. They train the daily use and the daily exercise to control the horses, having been incited, and brevi, imply a temporary, in a short time, to moderate them, to bring them under control, and to bend them, as in to turn in a particular direction. Bad enough that they're doing it to horses having been incited to full gallop, but they're able to do it in crazy places, but only because of their training, and this is where it gets wild, to run along the hitch, the pole that connects the chariot, to the actual yoke that is on the horses that connects the chariot to them. So to run through the connecting pole and to stand on the yoke, that is the wooden piece that fall or that fits over, and I can draw a picture of it here. A yoke is going to look like the following. So here you have it, and then you would have one spot for one horse and another spot for another horse. And so the horses neck and back go into both of these and it connects them to where they function as a team. And so that is to what you then attach the pole. So they have been accustomed to run through the pole and to stand on the yoke. So they run up the pole, they stand on top of the horses and from there, in day, from there, they have been accustomed to recover, receive themselves implied back into the chariots very quickly. Let's see if the drawing I have is still up there or no. No, if it's not still up there. Oh well, what are you going to do? But at any rate, essentially again, what's happening is that they are implying, or Caesar is revealing to us, of how crazy and wild they are. And so wild were they that they bring these charioteers from Britain back to Rome and they become a type of gladiator because of how wild they are and how well trained. Again, I'm going to do one more time very quickly. They have brought it about so much 
from their daily use and exercise that on an incline, at a drop-off location, a precipitous place, they have been accustomed to control the horses having been riled up in Kitatos, and in a short time to moderate them, and to bend them, turn them, and to run through the pole, the connecting pole, the hitch, and to stand on the yoke, and from there to recover themselves back into the chariots most quickly. So, crazy times with the Esadari. Good luck, study.